All right, I'm uh, troubleshooting uh, my lights on the trailer. They're not coming on. Okay, uh, this could be uh, an old trailer or you just installed lights and you want to make sure that they're working. So the key thing is you make sure you got power coming out of your vehicle first. And even though you know that it worked with the other one, uh, make sure nothing happened. So what I did is I made a, I, I have an old pigtail off of a trailer and I'm going to plug it in. And I have the leads uh, stripped at the end. I'm going to make sure the leads are not touching each other, okay? And uh, I'm going to show you, I have a, a, an octal meter down here. Uh, I, have a, I have a Fluke, a digital meter too, but I, when I can, I use this one. I have it set on uh, DC volts, uh, 25 volts, because 10 volts is the next one down. It's a 12 volt vehicle, so we don't want to peg it out. So I'm going to go turn on the lights and turn on the turn signal. Okay, so right now, right now the uh, left lights are flashing. So I'm making a, 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 a left turn. So I'm uh, going to hold the ground. All right, if you, I don't know if you can see the, the meter, but we're going to see what happens. I'm going to hit this one. Now, I'm not going to touch the, see, I'm holding the wire over here. That's fine. One side you could, that's ground. Don't touch that, uh, that positive side because it is 25 volts, I mean 12 volts. So, uh, so you can see the meter up, it's steady, that's, that's your uh, lights. Okay, on the other side of the yellow, we have a pulsating turn signal. Okay, so remember you're making a left turn now. So on the left side of the yellow goes to the yellow uh, of that. So now I'm not going to make a right turn. Now we're going to the, go to the green side. Okay, and uh, once again, uh, we're holding that to, to the ground. We're not touching this side. We're just going to put this on over here. And I'm not getting anything. There we go. We got a pulsating on the green. Okay. And over here we have a steady. If I can hold it on a steady. Steady headlights. So uh, actually, headlights should be steady on both sides. And with a right turn signal on, the left turn signal should not be running. That's left turn signal. Okay, so this uh, this verifies that the uh, vehicle side of the power is good. Okay, the, the next thing we want to do is set our uh, meter. To, on the resistance to scale, I put a R, uh, RX uh, 100. Okay. Um, what we're going to do is check our ground. All right. If we have a a loose wire or a ground on that, the ground is going to be the white wire. We're going to stick our meter in that. It doesn't matter which one because this is no electricity is involved. And we're going to hit hit the screw, and we have continuity. All right. I'm also going to take this and go at any part. Of the of the bare metal, anywhere around on uh, on the uh, frame of the uh, trailer, and I should have continuity. That verifies that I'm getting a good ground to to everything on this uh, on this uh, frame. Okay, that's step one. And then the next thing we do, I have to check for power back on the lights. I'm going to uh, hook this up to the Jeep, uh, where we know we have good power coming out of the Jeep. We're going to plug this pigtail into the Jeep and then we're going to see if we have power back at the lights. Okay, I've uh, hooked up the Jeep uh, just to the electrical part. I don't need to put it on the ball for nothing. Uh, to the trailer. Okay, and uh, what we're going to do first uh, before we put power on, we're going to come back here. Okay, we're going to make sure that this light uh, the bolt to this, okay. The, there's a bolt in back of the light assembly. Uh, I, we have it on. Uh, we have it on uh, uh, reading resistance here. I wanted to see if make sure you could see that. Uh, hmm. Point it up a little bit. Okay, that's on resistance uh, times 100 again. I, I have a meter on there, and I'm finding a bare piece of metal on the frame. Any bare piece of metal. 
we're looking for resistance. Okay, we got a good continuity. It's going from the, the bolt and the nut in the back, which is connected to the light assembly itself and ground. So, so we have a good connection. All right, that's number one. And then what we're going to do is go uh, turn on power and read the leads down there for uh, that we're getting power back here. So I'm going to leave that right about there and go turn on the, the power. Okay, I'm going to take the, uh, I have it on uh, 25 volts. All right, I'm going to go on the back here where the nut is. I'm going to hit the brown lead. And I'm not getting anything on the brown lead. This is the yellow lead. And I have the turn signal right there. But I still have nothing coming up on the lights at all. And that's, uh, that's bouncing up. I do have something on the lights. I'm seeing lights uh, blinking up on, up on top here. They got to be really dark and I do see them. All right, so they, uh, so they are blinking. But uh, I don't see any steady lights. I do have, wait, I have no steady lights in there. So it has to be pretty dark uh, to see them because uh, LED lights evidently, if I see no, uh, no steady lights, I'm going to check the steady lights again. That's the brown one. And I have no power on steady lights. So I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, hmm, let me turn off, I'm going to turn off the uh, uh, turn signals and see what happens on, on this. Okay, we're on the, the left side now. I'm going to check for ground again. I have it set to ground. We're on a screw in the back and I'm looking for metal out here. Any kind of metal there. Okay, we have continuity ground. All right, so we're, uh, we have continuity. Uh, good ground with the light assembly itself. Now I've moved it over to 25 volts. Uh, we're going to back on the screw here. Now this uh, this is a little difficult to get to because these are the splices that the, was supplied with the light. So it's quite different. So I'm on the uh, green wire right now. And we have the lights on. What I'm checking is just the lights. I'm not looking any power for the lights and I'm not getting anything on the brown neither. So I'm going to go turn on the turn signal. Let's we'll see if we get it over here. Okay, this uh, the right turn signal is on. I'm on uh, the bolt in the back, the nut and the bolt, and I'm hitting the wires. First on the green, nothing over there, and now on the shiny part of the wire, on the brown, nothing there. So I'm not getting anything from uh, anything on this side. I have turn signals on the other side with no uh, no lights. So uh, the only thing I could think is uh, the splices here. But see, the splices I read continuity on both sides of the splices, so I'm fine with that. Uh, it's got to be from the from the cable up there coming back to the wires back here and that turn signal works over there but the lights don't work turn signals and lights over here don't work so uh, the next thing I probably do is go ahead and cut the wires I don't want them to be too short because I uh, need to hook them back up I'll just place uh, put two splices in there I hate doing that on a single wire all right just to actually uh, narrow it down and uh, figure out what what's going on so that's probably the next angle I want to uh, I want to troubleshoot it completely down to where uh, I can get a hold of the manufacturer and find out uh, just what's going on. Alright, we have uh, the right light is uh, flashing and we have the headlights on. So now I cut the splices out of the picture and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, the wire, let's see, black lead, we're still in volts, black lead on uh, the ground. I'm going to touch the leads down here. Nothing on the brown. I think that's the brown. And nothing on the other one. Bare wire. We have nothing going to either one of those. No movement whatsoever on the meter. And I'm moving the ground around too in case uh, 
So that tells me that's a bad lead. Okay, bad, bad harness. We're going to go to the other side and test that one again too. Okay, I have the leads dis totally disconnected even though it didn't make any sense because they were bare wires anyway. I'm going to take the uh, black lead, put it on the back. I'm going to hit the uh, brown and yellow wire. We have the turn signal and the lights on. We have nothing down in the meter. When I hit the other side, we have turn signal. Turn, turn signal is bouncing on the meter. So out of the uh, four wires coming off the harness back here, one wire is going. We validated. The ground is working. This light would not be working right now if the ground was not working. And we tested the ground anyway. So we have three wires coming off of the harness itself and is not working. There's something wrong in the back of that plug. Now we could take it a little further, go right in back of that plug and use uh, pinholes and stick the meter in the pinholes in back of the plug and make sure we're getting something. But uh, I'm not, I don't think I need to go that far. Alright, it is indeed a bad harness.